guys. I think Babe's dead. But it was mental anyway. Didn't look anything like a sheepdog. What the hell was wrong with that pig? My pig disease? I don't know. But what I do know is that this is rust and I'm trying to survive in the wild by hacking at a hacking at a rock with a hatchet. Maybe I'm mental as well. I mean, I'm seeing some super slow walking zombies there in the background. How do they walk so slow? I don't remember eating any mushrooms. But still, we need to get a house built before sundown. I won't be able to see anything and one of those things is going to come out of the night and three punch me to death. They're incredibly strong, the zombies in this game, compared to in DayZ. So, with a hatchet you're going to lose half your health at the very least when they come running at you. And there's a player right there. Now unfortunately there's no VoIP in this game yet, so a hatchet in the back is the best way to say hello. <laughs> Poor little Ricky Ricardo. Didn't know what hit him. But you can't trust anybody in this game, it's basically everybody kills everybody. Which of course will change when uh, Voight comes along. I can hear somebody else. There he is. General Jones, charging like a little axe-wielding bundle of fury, this guy. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, but... He actually made me bleed there. I'm gonna have to take a health kit. Fortunately he has got one on him. As this guy will as well. That's all you spawn with. Uh, the axe, the health kit, and a flare for at night time. Because it gets very, very dark. As you'll see. Uh, but that's all you've got. And then you're, you're stuck out in the wild. So as you can see. Sunset. And this actually looks like a pretty good vantage point up here. People have... Somebody's already built a foundation. Uh, grenade blueprint. Whenever you kill a zombie, you, you, you get a blueprint, which is what I've got there. Um, I wonder. What I'm going to try and do, uh, that's how you craft, by the way. You just have things in your inventory, which is the center part, and then uh, it makes you walk really slowly, as you can see. I just want to get over here so I'm less obvious to other players whilst I'm crafting. Um, but basically, if you've got the things in your inventory, you just click craft on the, on the right-hand side, as I did there and it'll craft you a door or whatever you've selected. So I want to see if I can put a door on this. Um, it's already got a door on it, unfortunately. But this is the very basic building you can build. It only requires 50 wood. This wood here. And as you can see in the bottom left, it tells me that it's locked, which means I can't get into it. Seems like I can't put another door on here. Nope. I'm going to have to build myself another wooden shelter, I think. I mean, I could destroy that door... Uh, with my hatchet right there and and then I could basically just put my door on it but I think I'm just going to build my own wooden shelter just across from here if there's a couple of buildings it means that if another player comes along they don't have to check a couple and it means I can probably get the drop on them because sometimes they just come up to your door start hatcheting on it and then you, you, you're kind of stuck unless you open it and shoot them because I mean it takes a lot of hits to break down a door but it's still a bit of a problem but I'm just going to wait for this thing to finish crafting Ta-da! That's right. Got my own wooden shelter now. Hasn't got a door on it. It doesn't come with one of those. So, I think if I go inside, it opens outwards. Although, I know, in fact, it doesn't matter which way you put the door on, because it always opens away from you, whoever opens it. I'm just going to build a campfire as well. And then I can get some light in here, and I can start cooking some of my rocks, because apparently this campfire is, is hot enough to... to to melt these rocks and stuff. But that's that's how it works. So you use your campfire to break things down. Like if I put raw chicken into it, it obviously turns into cooked chicken, as you'd imagine. If I put cloth into it, it turns into leather. Uh, so that's that's how you get sort of more advanced ingredients. And uh, when you cook, in fact, I'll put some in now, uh, just to show you. It comes with five wood built inside it. But I can put my chicken in there, because cooked chicken gives you more food back. See, my food is running there, but low a little bit there in the bottom right. I've also put my metal in there, my metal ore and my sulfur ore, and they'll turn into metal shards, which you can use to build weapons and bullets, and sulfur, which you combine with charcoal, obviously from burning the wood, which creates gunpowder, and then that's basically how you create those. So I'm going to just uh, cook a few things. So I've been cooking for the last 10 minutes, and uh, finally got myself enough together to make myself a pistol. You need quite a lot of metal shards to be able to run of these. But this is the 9mm. It's basically the basic pistol in the game. And uh, as you can see, the the sulfur and all the side products of actually cooking appear in that menu there. But I need some gunpowder. 
uh, which requires charcoal and sulfur so I'm going to build some of that and then from that I should be able to build some 9mm ammo because at the moment I've only got 13 bullets which isn't going to be enough. So Nigella of the Wild here, me, has been cooking again and uh, I've managed to craft myself a, a laser sight which you can just drag onto your pistol and it should. There we go. Now that means, because of course there's no crosshair in this game, that I can actually hip fire at people and it means I can aim down the sights a little bit quicker. Now I need to just sort out my gear, of course, because I'm going to head out in a second. In fact, as you can see, bottom right there, my food's pretty low, so I'm just going to move this chicken across and then eat it. No, you just right-click on it and then you can click eat. You can press number six as well, and that would do exactly the same. Uh, that basically used what, uses what's in that slot. And this is my armor here. I crafted this by, by killing animals, and then you get cloth from them. And cooked chicken! Like that pig I killed, babe, he gave me cook... No wonder he was mental, if his meat was actually cooked chicken. And that also explains why chicken tastes the same as everything else. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to head out now. And, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to get some more wood, and then I can finish building my main house uh, on this foundation. I know what it is about pigs, but they tasty. Oh dear. Marathon man here. I think he's got a bit of a zombie problem. <laughs> they run with such a ridiculous slow animation. They're in sync as well. Ah, I could help. I'll take out these zombies, I think. Because. I mean, that guy has clearly only got a hatchet, and he's going to get screwed if they go after him. So. The problem, with, the problem at the moment is that you can't tell what somebody's got out, so. And you can't, and it's it's instant to equip a weapon. So you can't really trust people or tell them to drop it like you could in Daisy. Oh, that's okay. I'm friggin' this guy's friendly since he's jumping. That's usually the it's usually the signal, the bunny hop friendly symbol. But, oh, there's three guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I think. So I got back to base, crafted myself an MP5 with a laser sight on, and I'm just going to put down my foundation now for my house. So uh, you convert the wood that I've been collecting into wooden planks, and then with those you can build. It's really quite intuitive. The crafting menu only takes a few minutes to get used to, but I'm going to wall everything up because I think I've. Why wouldn't that plant? Okay, I don't have any pillars down. You've got to you've got to put the pillars down first, and then you can put down the walls so on the edge of every box you basically need to have a pillar so I've got those and I hope I built the right amount of stuff wooden wall okay so I'm just put one on each side to rotate you just use your mouse cursor it's really quite intuitive um, to bring up the menu by the way you just press the tap button and to use things you press the E button I think that's basically it you can just press return to, to chat as well so I've got my walls in. I need to build my door frame now. Just put that in there. And finally I need a door. It should just be able to go in there. And now you see we've got a, a much larger shelter with plenty of room to grow. Because I'm going to try and build it into a tower with a staircase as well. Just going to grab a few supplies from in here so I can build the next floor up on my house. Uh, I need some radiation pills. A lot of the good loot is in heavily radiated areas of the map. You'll see, you'll hear like a crackling and your screen kind of goes all, all grainy. And if you if your radiation in the bottom right goes above 500, then you will get radiation poisoning and it damages your health unless you take these pills. Radiation does go away on its own. It kind of gets metabolized, but, but you do need those pills if you want to get some of the good loot. Looks like there's a pretty big camp up there, but there's a couple of wood piles next to it. There's a guy there. Oh! Ow! He's only got a pistol. He's not going to win this. So my health should go full in a few seconds or so, and then I can take out this guy. As you see, there's a pretty big glitch in this tree, but... Let's wait for him. So the guns are quite difficult to use. Got him. 
Oh. What in the world is he doing? Where did they all come from? I have no clue what the, this this other guy was doing. He just ran across completely oblivious. I've got a feeling I've probably overstayed my welcome here. That deer's clearly quite used to gunshots. Those guys had some wood, so... Should be able to get out of here. That may seem like a, a random act of banditry, but as I say, with no void, you do have to shoot inside because anybody can draw a gun at any time in this game. MP5. Oh, he's got leather armor, that guy. You have to get headshots on the zombies. They do a lot of damage. Well, that's good. I can I can take out my cloth armor now, and I can upgrade. I can probably check out this zone here. Uh, as you can see, this is probably one of those plants that exploded and gave off all the radiation, but it's pretty, pretty heavy at the moment. Oh, I thought I heard footsteps. Is that the zombie? I was going to check that building, but I'm pretty sure I heard some footsteps from someone. Maybe it was the zombie. Oh no, it's this guy. Oh. Don't like it when people disappear like that. Somebody else died here. I should be able to follow this road back to my base. It is, there's no map, so it is a little bit confusing when you travel quite a long distance, because there's a big world in this. There's another guy. Sorry. I think my base is just at the top of this hill. Oh, there's a guy. Why has he got so much loot? I bet he's just raiding my base. I left the fire on so it'll have been glowing in the night. He has. See that guy hatcheted down my door and stole all my stuff, which is... Which is basically why you shoot on sight in this game. Because without VoIP, you can't trust anybody. Yeah, he's taking essentially everything. Now that it really matters, I've got everything that I need. Or at least I was carrying it on me. So I can set up everything in this, I can get all, all my gear back off that guy, that thief, and then uh, I can start building my ceiling and my stairway. So I'm just going to put the ceiling here over my sleeping bag so it doesn't rain on me. Sleeping bag is of course where you respawn so it stops it being a completely random spawn. So if you've got a sleeping bag down you can spawn back at it. And I'll wet my stairs in here and then I can build a sort of spiral all the way up to the top. Um, but this was Rust. It's in pre-alpha build at the moment. It's made by Gary Newman, who of course made Gary's mod, so it, it actually looks really fantastic, uh, even in pre-alpha stage, uh, which it currently is in. Uh, I think they're going to release it in beta at some point in the near future, and it's probably going to be a really good game. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more, please do leave me a comment, a rating, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter.